Hey guys, this is Shumon from ASA Technical. Today I'm going to show you how to fix PCI Simple Communications Controller Driver error in Windows 7, Windows 8.1 or Windows 10. Sometimes a Windows computer user may encounter problems like this. Unsupported PCI Simple Communications Controller in Device Manager. Basically, this problem occurred due to outdated or corrupted Intel Management Engine interface driver. Or this error may be generated when device manager stops a hardware device because the hardware reported to Windows that it's having some kind of unspecified problem. And also, it can be appeared much more rarely caused by Windows update components when it needs to be repaired. Whatever the issue, don't worry about it. By following this instruction in this video, you can easily get the solution of this error. Well, let's get started. At first, let's start with some easy method. At first, connect your PC with the internet. Now go to Device Manager. Next simply click on Scan for Hardware Changes. Now you should see the message Installing Device Driver Software. Now just click here. As you can see, status shows that Windows Update is searching for Device Driver Software. Now be patient for a while, do nothing. Alright, after completing the process, as you can see, status shows that Windows has successfully updated your drivers. And as you can see, status shows that Intel Arc Management Engine Interface Driver has successfully installed from System Device Directory from Device Manager. Now just click on Close and just restart once, that's it. If you are lucky, then this simple method may help you to solve your problem. Now, let's go to the second method. At first, open the browser. Next, search for Intel Management Engine Interface Driver Software. Now just click on this second link, Intel Management Engine Consumer Driver for Intel NUC Kit. Then it will take you to Intel's official drivers and software download page. Alright, now just download this Management Engine Consumer Driver software in .zip format. As you can see, it is supported for both operating systems. Next, I will just extract this zip file. Next, open this MEI only installer MSI folder. Next, just double click on this setup.executable file. Next, click on run. Next select this option, removes the product from your computer. For start, fresh with a clean installation of management engine interface driver as you can see. Then click on next. Now 
Now click on finish. Now it has been completely removed as you can see. Now again double click on this setup.executable file. Next click on run. Then click on next. Next accept the license terms. Then next and next. Yeah done, as you can see, status shows that Intel R Management Engine Interface Driver has successfully installed. Now click on finish. Next go to Device Manager and then click on Scan for Hardware Changes. Now let me show you. Yeah done, as you can see, status shows that Intel R Management Engine Interface Driver has successfully installed. Now just restart once, that's it. Now let's go to the advanced method. At first, open this Windows driver packages folder. Next open MEI folder. Next just copy the full path of this file or folder as you can see. Next go to device manager from control panel. Next select the PCI Simple Communications Controller and right click on it. Then click on Update Driver Software. Next choose the option Browse My Computer for Driver Software. Then select the option Let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. Now just scroll down and select the hardware type System Devices. As you can see. Then click on next. Then click on have disk. Next paste here the full path of those file or folder which was copied as you can see. Next click on ok. Next select the model Intel R Management Engine Interface. Then click on next. Now as you can see status shows that installing device driver software. After completing the process as you can see status shows that Windows have successfully updated your driver software. Then click on close. Then click on scan for hardware changes. You are done as you can see. Now close all other tabs and restart once. After rebooting hopefully your problem will be solved. We hope you will like, of course let us know your opinion. If you have any questions then please let us know, please like, comment, share, we need your support and guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you, thanks for watching, have a nice day.